Hi, I'm Emily Lum. I'm a hairdresser at Worcester College Technology. This is my model, Bernie, and today I'm going to be doing a one length cut. But I'm not going to be doing a traditional cut where it's straight all the way around. I'm going to curve it around so it's slightly shorter on the sides. This is particularly good for Bernie's hair because it's quite fine in texture, so it enables her to have layers around the face but shaped down to a longer length. The reason I've sectioned it this way is because I need a guideline from the front, the shortest length, to connect through. Once I've got this length in, I can go back to sectioning in four pieces if I want to. Okay. So I'm going to start at the back of the head. If you can pop your head right forward for me. Centre section. And cut. Now my next section is going to come down to the same piece that I've just cut. Same either side. And now visu visibly I need to have a look and bring in a slightly more freehand to give this nice curved effect. Bring them across. Okay. Now going back to the centre, if you can keep your head forward. I need to bring this curve in this side. Connect by bringing this back section slightly forward. Now, I need to spend a little bit of time making sure that both sides are the same length. So I'm going to take a section of hair behind both ears, bring it down into the middle and check that they're the same length which they are. Halfway across the back section, same area of hair into the center. And here I need to take slightly more from this side. Just recheck. That's fine. Okay, what I'm going to do now before I go any further is make sure that I'm the same length at the front. So the section of hair in front of the ear on both sides, I'm going to bring down so that they meet under Bernie's chin, which is fine. Okay, from there, I've got a lovely guideline all the way around, so I can traditionally go back now to my four sections.
do need to make sure you can see your curve guideline underneath the layer that you've just let down. Going back to the centre then, I now have my guide in sight underneath and I'm going to cut and blend to that guide. I'm going to have a section of the hair that I've just cut so I've got a guide here and I've also got that guide underneath which I've got to follow the curvature of the hair. Okay, once you've finished each section, you need to go back and check. So you take the two pieces behind the ear and bring into the middle, make sure they're still accurate, which they are. Then you're going to let down about another centimetre section. It's important that you see the line very clearly, so if you start getting little bits of hair that are drying off, just respray them down so that all the hair is wet. And just recheck again. So you've got your top layer into the center, section behind, and middle section. Okay, from there, we've already got this layer here. Okay, so I've just let the second section of the hair down on the sides. Now I've got to blend this, so coming back to the top, I'm going to start combing this down towards the sides instead of straight down the back. just until I can see that guide underneath. And the same on this side. section of hair. Because there are already layers in the hair this probably won't reach the bottom here, only the odd little strand. Check it from the back and from the front. So make sure you've got exactly the same piece of hair. Okay, I need to take a tiny bit more off the front of this side. Just to curve that corner there. Okay, that's your traditional one length cut with a little twist by curving the ends. What I'm going to do now is put Bernie's parting back in. About there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Now I'm going to shape just around the face. And I have to be careful here because, as I've said, Bernie has got very fine hair and I need to leave some of this length at the bottom but still have a layer to frame her face. So what I'm going to do is section it and bring it onto the face and blend down. And then on the other side, I need to take the same section of hair. Just move your fringe out of the way a moment. In line with her nose, and take these ends off down to the length that we've cut at the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to have a, just take a little bit off the fringe. She's going to have it as a side fringe. So I'm going to hold the section forward. Angle my fingers down. And just cut on the diagonal above my fingers. going to blow dry the hair through. We're going to put a little bit of styling product to give it a tiny bit of root lift and then we're going to straighten it through because she likes her hair nice and straight and smooth and then at the end you should be able to see the shape that we've cut in at the back, shaping of the, a few layers around the face and the side fringe but predominantly a one length cut. blow dry in this type of style because they're going shorter at the front what I'm going to be doing through the front sections is dragging them forward to um, just to show off that line a little bit better recap then on this cut what we've done is a one length cut which we've slightly angled up towards the sides of the hair. I started off by taking a perimeter around the whole of the hairline as my guide so I had this, an, an area an angle um, above the ear which I brought straight down and blended with the angle at the back. Then I resectioned into four, cut the back up to the crown, connected the sides in. So what Bernie's got now is a nice curved hairstyle when she brings comes around to the face. It connects through with a side fringe and down to a few layers, but it still is the traditional one length cut throughout the back. Okay. Mm -hmm.